Leos. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I do want to say happy birthday to all of those Leos that have birthdays in the second half of this month. So I hope you guys are making good plans and I hope that you have something exciting going on, all right? So guys, I do have your July spread here and I want to hop right into it. Spreads out and I will be pulling some more cards to clarify. All right. The energy of this reading is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. All right, so this might be an energy we want to be a little careful with. Uh, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this is somebody who's a bit unstable. You know, this is someone that is very charming. You could have a great time with them. You could party with them all night. But if you expect them to be there in the morning, you got another thing coming. This is someone who's very unreliable. This is someone who's, you know, into one-night stands, into short flings. It's just, you know, life of the party, but... That's about it. All right, guys. So going into your past, the four, uh, the first card I have here is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is you guys being super guarded, okay? You might be very defensive. You might be holding on to your money, to all your materials. Um, you know, there could be some need for self-development here, but it's just you guys just having a reluctance towards something, okay? So you're having a reluctance towards something, but thing, but things do end up taking a good turn. All right, so you may have been unsure about something, but things did take a good turn. This is your card as well. So, you know, it's it's light being shed on your life in a very good way. You know, good news coming in. The last card we have here is the Five of Wands. So with this new beginning or with this new thing coming into your life, it may have caused, you know, some gossip, some bickering, some back and forth arguing. Nothing too heavy. No one's keying anybody's car. You know, no one's killing anybody. But, you know, this is more of just a frustrating energy. Now, why is this Four of Pentacles here in the reverse? Why is this Four of Pentacles? Okay. At the bottom, we do have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So maybe there's something that try that's trying to come in and either you guys aren't letting it or you just don't feel like you can manifest it for some reason. All right. So the first card to clarify is the Four of Swords in the reverse. So you guys may have just been in a place where... You kind of took a step back, you took a break, you know, you kind of were trying to reflect on your life and see what it was that got you to the place you were in. But now, you know, I feel like that rest is over and you're able to move forward with the situation, but you may be really guarded because you're not sure about what's happening. You know, you could have a fog over your face and you could have been well aware of this and you could have been just guarded because you weren't sure what was what. With the Seven of Cups, anytime this comes up, this is, you know, a lot of options, a lot of choices, but most importantly, it's the need to focus and it's the need to, you know, zoom in on what's most important in your life. Now, let's see what's going on with the sun card here. Why is the sun card here in the past for Leos? Why is the sun card here? Okay. All right. So... You guys may have gotten out of something, okay? We have the Four of Wands in the reverse and the Hierophant in the reverse. So you may have gotten out of something that was unstable, you know, fallen out of either a relationship or a situation. This could have been, you know, legal issues that you were having. But things, um, you know, things didn't work out with something. But I feel like you guys, you know, took it within your power, like you guys are, you know, you're very, very strong. And you're like, you know what, I want to manifest better. And you did work on manifesting something. So maybe that involved, you know, walking away from something or just leaving something that just didn't serve you. But I feel like you guys were leaving this behind. You know, the higher font in the reverse, it's all about like the solutions of relationships or partnerships or, you know, even like leaving your job. So it, this is, you know, this is like dropping something in a sense. So I feel like you guys left behind something that was unstable and you were manifesting better things. And maybe that was why there was a lot of back and forth bickering. Maybe the person or the situation you dropped wasn't happy about the fact that you were moving on. Why is this five of wands here? Okay. Yeah, because you guys were like, fuck that. You guys came out of limbo. You know, you got the hangman in the reverse and the four of swords in the reverse. So you guys, you know, with the two of swords in the reverse, this is coming to a decision. This is taking that mask off, seeing things for what it is, and, you know, finding clarity within it. With the hanged man in reverse, you're no longer in limbo. So it's like you're moving on, but there's frustration around that. There's, you know, there's 
either a person or people kind of like, you know, down your throat about it. Um, and I just, honestly, I just feel like they just weren't happy that you were moving on. Okay, but if you were somewhere unstable and shit wasn't working out, then who cares what they think, you know? So in your present moment, we do have the Knight of Cups. So you guys may be dealing with the water sign or you may be either getting an offer or giving an offer to someone. And something with this offer is going to cause some arguments. Okay, so this could be... Um, this is just people not seeing eye to eye. This is the need to kind of take a step back and think of a new approach to the situation because if you keep going on this way, it's going to bring a lot of consequences. So I think that there's just a need to step back and kind of think of a different way that you can go about this, okay? But, it, um, you know, the present moment does end with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, which is nice because in the past there was just so much going on where you guys couldn't see clarity, and now you see shit for what it is. So I feel like you guys... Excuse me, I feel like you guys have, um, you know, come to a place where you've seen it for what it is, and maybe that's why it's causing issues. Maybe you called someone out on their bullshit, or maybe they called you out on their bullshit, and this is why it's, you know, it's turning out that way. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Why is this Knight of Cups? Okay. All right. So, um... Like I said, it could be you guys giving an offer to someone or someone giving an offer to you. And with this offer, it's like you're releasing all the burdens from the past. But we do have the Empress in the reverse. So this could mean that you're taking more of like a masculine approach mm -hmm. to things. So it's kind of like, yeah, you're offering this, but you're going to think logically at the same time. Uh, it could mean that you have a lot of different offers, a lot of different ways you can go with something. Um, but the Empress in the reverse, she sometimes questions herself, questions her beauty, and sometimes has trouble manifesting new things, but it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't change the fact that she will always have lots of ways that she can go. She is literally the person who, um, you know, she, she rolls up her sleeves, she gets shit going, you know, leave it in her hands and she will nurture it and she will make it grow. So whether it's in the reverse or upright, you guys still have that capability. It's just up to you whether or not your mentality is going to help you get there. Now let's see why this Ace of Swords is here. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Okay. All right. So interesting. Interesting. So like I said, guys, this is you, you know, having a back and forth with someone, possibly arguing. And then we have the chariot and justice in reverse. This could mean that you literally moved away from what was not serving you, like you just picked up and left to another place. It could mean that you just went running. You saw that there was an injustice here. It caused arguing, and either you or the other party was just like, I can't do this. And they left the situation with speed, okay? So, I, I just see someone running from whatever problematic situation was happening here. Because you're seeing things for what it is. Why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse here? Why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse? Right, you guys are getting um, quite a few Earth energies here. You have the Hierophant in the reverse, you have the Empress in the reverse, and now you have the King of Pentacles, so possibly dealing with the Taurus. You guys are pulling a lot of Taurus cards right now. All right. Yeah. You see things for what it is with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, and then with this King of Pentacles, you're either moving towards a Taurus, or this is you guys coming into your power. You know, the king of pentacles is the most stable king of all the kings in, you know, a tarot deck. And then with the world card, you're coming to a completion. So all this bullshit, all this arguing, all this back and forth bickering, where there's injustices and instability, you guys are done. You're done with that. Now you have the hermit card where it's like you kind of take a step back and you retreat. And it's like, wow, I just went through a lot of bullshit. Let me take a step back and let me breathe for a second because this person was just down my throat. And then it does end, you know, with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this could be you or someone else. But I feel like whether it's you or somebody else, there's somebody who's moving on and there's someone that's really pissed off that that person is moving on. 
because with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is a very reckless energy, probably the most reckless energy, um, unless it's like the chariot in the reverse also. Um, but this is one of the most reckless energies that you can pull. So this is somebody that is just not thinking. They can say very hurtful things. They're very, um, you know, they have that fight or flight mentality. It's just someone that's difficult to deal with. So there's somebody who's done with the situation and there's somebody that's not happy that the situation is done. You know, if it's you guys breaking up with someone, they just don't want to see you go. If there's a situation at work or something and you're deciding to leave the job, your, your boss or other coworkers may not want to see you go. But I see you guys just kind of coming into your power and saying, well, you know, this was a load of bullshit, so I got to go. Yeah. Because in the future, you have the three of wands. You're turning your back, and you know that there's more out there for you. You know that you can build more. You know that, you know, you can have a better situation without all this bullshit here. Right? And you're over it. Ten of swords in the reverse, guys. The swords are coming out of your back, and the worst is over. That's awesome. And then <clears throat> the last card you guys have is the Page of Wands in the reverse. So, I mean, this makes sense because, you know, if you're going through a lot of bullshit, you may, you know, not be ready to bring more passion into your life. Or you may, um, <coughs> or maybe you guys are talking to someone and, and making them think that you could offer passion or vice versa. And it's just like you're just not willing to actually go ahead and... Uh, go forward with this promise of passion that you're giving okay so you might just not be ready to jump into anything yet you know in the future but that's okay because if you guys are coming out of bullshit it's always good to kind of take a step back breathe you know and make sure that you're not going to carry any baggage or old energies into your new relationship because i always say it however it is that we feel inside as a person that's going to be the next person that we attract all right so you have to realize like if you feel like you're attracting a lot of bad people, if you feel like you're fighting a lot and arguing a lot with people, and it's like you're always getting mad at someone else, you kind of need to take a step back and say, okay, why do I attract this person? And kind of do some, you know, self, some self-reflection, all right? And, you know, with that, I think there's so much power that comes in that, because I feel like when there's something that we don't like about another person, it's usually because we have that same quality. Think about it. You know, anytime you get pissed off at a person, like genuinely really, really bothered, think if they reflect anything that you do. And I bet you they do. So, you know, there's always a need to step back and take a different approach. And, you know, that's happened with me in the past where I'm like, why am I attracting so, like, these unstable, shitty men? And it's because I was unstable and a little shitty myself, all right? So there, there's a need to, like, take a step back and just, okay, well, let me fix myself. Let me take a new approach. And once I did take that new approach and I did come off more stable and, you know, I was more confident in myself and all of that, that's when, you know, beautiful things start, you know, putting themselves in my lap. And that's when things, you know, fall into line for me. So, yeah, I see you guys, you know, turning your back, moving away from something that just didn't serve you because you're just, you're done with it. Why is this three of wands here? Yeah, this, see, this is nice, guys. Um, you have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So one, you're getting out of your head or you're getting out of this, um, you know, this self-imprisonment that you put yourself in. And the swords, I feel like the swords always comes out after a breakup or after something doesn't go right because, you know, with the swords suit, they're able to detach their emotions from what the goal is. And they just cut through all the bullshit. And that's how, you know, that's how most of us feel, right? When we get out of a bad situation, we just don't want to, we don't want to hear your shit. We don't want to go through this shit again. So get the fuck out of my face and let me, you know, let me move on and let me do what I need to with my life. Why is this ten of swords here? Give me one more card. Why is this ten of swords here? the bottom of the deck we have a five of swords so you know the situation is just done you know it's either you feel defeated or you're defeating the situation but it's just it's, it's done and it's over with yeah um so i see you guys coming into your power you know the king of wands is here so you're over this 
you have the king of wands, you know, this is all about you coming back into that power, you know, being strong, being creative, being, you know, being the, the Leos that you are. But someone might show up again. All right? We have the eight of cups in the reverse. And the eight of cups in the reverse shows up. This might be you going back to an ex or an ex coming back to you. But it's kind of like, you either go back to them or they come back to you with a change of heart, with a change of mind, saying, you know what, I've grown, my soul has grown, I'm different now, can we do this again? Either can we do this again or let's reconcile, all right? So, I mean, if you guys need closure, that's, that's fine. But just make sure, you know, exes are exes for a reason, <laughs> you know, so make sure you're not letting anything bad or a negative person into your life, all right? And make sure you're not chasing after an ex just because something didn't work out, all right? We don't want to take steps back. We want to take steps forward. And you guys being the natural leaders of the Zodiac, I know that you, more than anybody else, know how to just leave shit in the past and keep going, all right? So let's see why this page of wands in the reverse is here. Why is this page of wands in the reverse? Okay. All right, guys, there's something that you're not letting go of just yet. All right, with the death in the reverse. Now, there's a blockage on passion with this page of wands in the reverse. And with this blockage of passion, it's really pissing someone off, whether it's pissing you off that somebody is not reciprocating passion or um, it's pissing someone else off because you're just done with them. And when a Leo is done, they're done. <laughs> Uh, so, because we have this King of Swords, so this is, again, a very, very reckless energy. The Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Guys, somebody is not happy that you're moving on. Or you're not happy that somebody else is moving on. Okay? Uh, this is someone that says a lot of crazy shit. They could be abusive mentally, physically, emotionally. But they're just very self-seeking, and they're all about their own gratification. Okay? And there's just, there's no emotion there at all. They're completely emotionally detached and just talking shit. And that's going to cause you to have this new start. You know, you just, you don't want to take this shit. I feel like you're cutting them out. You know, that's what the Ace of Swords is all about. The Ace of Swords comes out when you've been through a shitload of crap. And you don't want that crap no more. And it's time to keep it moving. Give me one more card for the outcome here. Yeah. You guys see more coming. You got this three ones. You guys know that life has a lot more to offer. And you're turning your back on all the bullshit and you're waiting for ships to come in. And with this, it's not so much just waiting. This is, the ships will come in, okay? So it's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I see you guys leaving behind some bullshit and just getting to higher grounds, which is beautiful. Now, uh, what I'm going to do for you guys is, like I do every month, pull you an Earth Magic Oracle card to give you some guidance on the month. And there has never been a time that this Oracle deck has not been accurate for me. All right, for those who are interested. It's by Stephen D. Farmer. Okay. All right, what is some advice that I could give to my lovely Leos? All right, let me just lower this a bit, guys. Okay. Well, breach. Let's see what this one's about. Mm -hmm. Okay. This powerful creature of the ocean takes a few great sweeps with his fins and propels himself briefly out of the water where he spends the majority of his life. He's taking a break from the ordinary earth element in which he lives to exist even for a few moments in the realm of blue skies and sun, having broken the skin of the ocean in a magnificent display of fullness and strength. All baleen whales breach, but none more spectacularly than the humpbacks, considered the acrobats of this family. They arch, stretch, and twist their bodies even as they approach the surface of the water. In what may be an ancient mating ritual, a form of communication, or even a way to remove parasites. And this image, the humpback whale that has burst out of the ocean, expresses an almost palpable feeling of release and joy. Often when we manage to change our environment, to break through um, illusions or blockages, we experience an intense feeling of relief 
and can let go of any previously held fears and assumptions of what would happen once we did overcome that barrier, whether it's material, emotional, or mental. Simply getting away from the trance of technology for a few hours and spending that time in nature is a breach from the trappings of civilization that can suffocate us and prevent us from connecting to Earth. It is time to take a break, not just a coffee break, but a respite from the usual environment you find yourself in. That trip you wanted to take, go for it. Tired of being indoors? Make it a point to get outside. You have become so attached to your surroundings that you have created within them an illusion of safety, yet it is not these things that make you feel safe. Rather, the familiarity you have imbued in your surroundings have generated this false sense of security. Taking time away from the familiar is literally about changing your external environment in a significant way, such as doing something unusual or perhaps something you have always wanted to experience. Another perspective is breaking through the barrier of beliefs that have constricted you in any way from being who you truly are. This is your opportunity to do some intentional breaching of these thought patterns, which will open you to different worlds and perspectives. Wow. So yeah, guys, I think that's perfect. I think it's time to change environment. It's time to look for something new. If you feel like something hasn't been working or you feel like you've been dealing with the same person or the same situation as bullshit after bullshit after bullshit, cut that shit out. Let it go. Go for a walk. <laughs> Put your phone away. Block them. Go for a freaking walk. But, um, yeah, I think that's really, really beautiful. And, you know, I see you guys really coming into your power. So I'm happy for you guys. Now, if you guys do want your own personal reading, feel free to get in touch with me. I will leave all of the information in the description, but I love you guys so much, and I'm so happy for you for coming out on top of the situation. Take care, and I'll see you guys in a bit.